Welcome everybody back to another video on JavaScript. So um, I'm planning on making more Java videos. So um, so don't be um, upset that there's no more Java videos. They will come. But um, as of now, I'm just going to go ahead and do JavaScript. Keep in mind that JavaScript and Java are two completely different things. Especially because JavaScript, is the code is all scripted. Whereas in Java, everything is more object oriented where it has like a complete like syntax and everything but java is different and we're going to set this aside and we're going to go ahead and talk about something called javascript javascript everything is done on the web and it's essentially um it's it's a core part of html html comes in three parts first is obviously html which is essentially the web page itself like right here i made a table of what we're going to do in this video so um, the HTML will be the table, the CSS will be the styling of the table, and then the JavaScript is essentially all the calculations and all that kind of stuff. So we're going to be doing JavaScript. Don't be confused with Java. Java is something completely different, which involves a console and it, it's object oriented and it has a structure. JavaScript is a scripted, it's, it's code, it's a coded in a scripted format and it is all on the web browser like Chrome or Edge. So with that being said, let's get started on what we're doing today. So we're gonna be talking about what is called the assignment operators. My last video was about the arithmetic operators. What the arithmetic operators do is hence what they mean. They just do calculations. The um, browser will do you calculations. Assignment operators will allow you to assign values to variables. So before we get started, I just want to review on the um, JavaScript syntax. First, you need your PID equals demo. Your PID equals demo. This essentially defines an, an HTML element called demo. We made a paragraph element and we called it demo. Next, we have right here the document dot get element by ID. What this does is it essentially calls for an element named demo. Um, right here we define demo so it asks for demo it calls for it and then we made that equal x so um once it calls demo it's going to give what x is and that is 10. so first let's talk about the assignment operator first you have the simple assignment operator the assignment operator is notated through the equal sign and what it does is that it will assign a value to a variable so in this case i got x equals 10 so it's going to assign 10 to x and then the browser is going to give us 10. by the way go ahead and um, make a file um make a dot html um because in this case i'm doing javascript within html i'm not going to add a js file and import it into an html file that is just something different i'm not going to do it in this javascript series but you could go ahead and make a js file and import that into an html file if you can Otherwise, you can just go ahead and make an HTML and we can put in JavaScript inside. So with that being said, we got 10. So that's the simplest as it goes. That is the assignment operator, which simply assigns a value to a variable. The things that come next, they are all extremely similar. They just do different things, but it's really easy to catch on what's happening because I kind of added, I kind of um, explained it in a consistent way if that makes any sense to y'all. So first we have the addition assignment operator. So what the addition assignment operator does is that it's going to add a new value to the original value that was assigned to the variable. In this case, I said x equals 10, but let's say I wanted to do x plus equals five. What this is going to do is that it's then going to be 15 because five was the new value I asked for. And I want to add the new value to the original value, which is going to give us the result of 15. Next is the subtraction operator does the same thing. It subtracts the new value from the original value. So we're gonna get the result of five because that is hence what a subtraction assignment operator does. It's going to subtract the new value, which is five from the original value, which is 10. Also note that since this is a variable, we use the keyword var or var. This will create a variable for us. And this variable is called X. 
The next thing we have is the multiplication assignment operator. Keep in mind that even though we're doing some sort of arithmetic, these are all assignment operators because we are assigning something to something else. So we're going to go ahead and do and um, we're going to do a, a multiplication assignment operator, which is essentially an asterisk and then an equal sign. Every assignment operator will have an equal sign after it. So in this case, I have the multiplication sign and then an equal sign after it. It's not an assignment operator if the um, operator symbol does not have an equal sign after it. So let's go ahead and reload it. Oh, yeah, this is the file. And there we got 50. Because hence what I did is that it multiplied the new value with the original value. So I hope y'all are catching on with what's happening. All I'm just doing is making changes to the original value. I'm just adding an assignment operator to the new value. And that will make the changes to the original value. In this case, the new value is going to be multiplied by the original value, which is 10. Hence why it's 50. Then you have the division assignment operator. This is all repetitive. It's the same thing that's happening every time. And it's coming, it's going to be in like a similar way. So if you know how things work, you're not going to run into any problems whatsoever, regardless. So what this does, it's going to divide the new value by, it's going to, yeah, it's going to divide the new value by the original. So that the original value divided by the new value. So 10 divided by 5, in this case, that is 2. Keep in mind that subtraction and division, um, they work the opposite as addition and um, multiplication. That's just how things are. Then we have the modulus operator. Now this is where things kind of get a little bit different because what the modulus operator is going to do is that it's going to give a remainder after dividing the new value. It should be it should be the new value, not a value. So it should be after dividing the new value with the original value. So I'm going to get 0 because 10 divided by 5 is going to give a remainder of 0. If I did 10 divided by 6, I'm going to get 1 because that will give a remainder of oh, 4. My bad. I can't do math today. But yeah, that will give you 1 and that will give you a remainder of 4. So modulus, it just gives you the remainder after dividing two numbers by each other. So we divided the new value, we divided, the original value was divided by the new value to get a remainder that was given. So in this case, it got a remainder of four. So it's going to give four. Five, obviously, it comes out clean, so it's just going to give zero. Lastly, we have the exponential assignment operator. So what this does is that it's two asterisks instead of one. And the new value is going to be raised to the power of the old value. I'm going to make a 2 because 10 to the power of 5 is like 100,000 or something. And I don't want to do that. So let's make it to the power of 2. And that will give us 100. So those are pretty much it. Those were the um, assignment operators. As simple as it gets. It's just the same thing over and over again. But just doing a different function. Or it's just um, executing something different. But it's just it, the syntax and everything it's the same thing. So I hope you were able to catch on with it. If you had any questions, please leave them down in the comments below. I do answer any questions that y'all have. And I think that's about it. We're going to wrap up with this video. There are more assignment operators. I just haven't gotten into them. These are the simplest as it goes. So I co I've covered pretty much most of them. You can go ahead and you can um, check out the other assignment operators. I'm not going to do a part two, but... There are many others. These are just the fundamentals and these are the main parts. Um, if you enjoy the video, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Um, I'll do my best to upload as many as I can, especially now it's Thanksgiving. And have a great time with your families. Have a great time with everything. And obviously make sure you're safe during the current situation. And with that being said, I'll see you all next time.